So ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and privilege to be here with each and every one of you every Saturday morning for many, many, many years now. Uh, we love what we do. We love what we have to offer. We have solutions that people are looking for. And it's our duty to be the best stewards of this technology and make sure that people we love and care about have access to this education and they can make you know, fully informed choices. And today's topic is how to support our immune system. And you know, in, with our um, glycanutrition technology, our nutritional glycans, uh, we have the best solution going and it can't be the best kept secret. So we're very privileged to have uh, Diana Hunter as our guest speaker this morning. I'll just give you a little bit about her background. Diana is a gold executive director with Manatech having been associated with the company since 1998. She's pursued a passionate interest in complementary health for over 30 years, initially driven by her own health challenges and then by her genuine desire to assist others in maintaining good health naturally. As a result of her heart and support to the community, Diana is a recipient of the Giving Spirit Award. Diana holds an Associate Diploma in Allied Health and a Certificate in Basic Nutrition and Health. She has skillfully assisted hundreds of people in their wellness goals, and I can attest to that. She's my go-to question person. In this training, Diana is going to cover what about what's your immune system, how you can support your immune system to optimal function, what are the three foundational keys to your immune health and simple lifestyle choices that make all the difference? How to be informed on living life with the assurance that your immune system is well cared for. And really, you know, if you haven't had a chance to invite people that you love and care about to be here live this morning, you're going to want to send them this uh, recording because it'll be available and it really provides solutions for people out there. So Diana, thank you for being here. Um, I'll go off camera and be available as needed. Excellent, thank you. Thank you for that warm introduction and welcome everyone. I'm excited to be here to be sharing with you about keys for supporting optimal immune health. And I think most people have the wisdom to know that we need to take care of our immune well-being. So I'm just gonna share my uh, slides and then we shall continue. There we go. Can you see that, Sharon, just so I... No, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, okay. I jumped ahead with one. Yeah, there we go. All good. And now I shall. Yep. Yeah, looks, looks great, yep. Excellent. So I'm going to cover today the fundamentals for supporting healthy immune function look at how our immune system communicates, then take a focus on our gut biome because that has an intimate relationship with our immunity and also features some lifestyle choices and some nutritional choices that are directly supportive for immune health. And I also have some special guest speakers to share their story about what they've done to uh, improve and strengthen their immune system. I'd like to start with thinking about together, you know, what are the pressures that are on our immune system in our modern world? And I'm going to feature three of those uh, this morning. First of all, is that the quality of our food is gradually declining. And I rarely get any arguments on this these days. Uh, our food isn't what it used to be 10, 20, and definitely 50 years ago. And there's several factors behind this. Uh, we're growing our food, mass producing our food over and over on the same soils. And we're not replenishing the broad spectrum of nutrition that needs to be in the soil if it's going to be in the produce. On top of that, we're picking our produce out of necessity. We're picking it green before it's ripened on the vine. And that significantly depletes the nutrient quality of the produce. And then we're over processing our food, storing it for longer, longer periods of time and um, long transport times as well. Oops. We're also adding a whole range of chemicals to our food production and uh, and that has an impact on our health. In addition to that, in our modern world, we all, you know, most people have some level of stress in their lives. 
And uh, also sometimes our lifestyle choices aren't the best. Perhaps we're a bit more sedentary than we you know, would be ideal uh, or maybe not making the best food choices or dietary choices on a, a daily, weekly or yearly basis. And this uh, results in chemical changes in our body that affects our immune system and our health in general. And then on top of that, uh, we have tremendous toxic load in our environment. You may or may not be aware that since the 1930s and 40s, we've launched over 100,000 new chemicals into our environment that didn't exist before that time. And our body isn't designed to live with that toxicity. It just does its best to cope with it. Uh, these toxins are being spread around the entire globe, in, even in the North and South Pole. All animals tested so far have, uh, they've identified toxic load. And so uh, these three factors have uh, led to uh, an identification of an immune decline in our um, global community by an average of about 30% over the last 25 years. And this unfortunately is continuing to deteriorate. So if we're looking at our immune system, let's have a closer look at what it is, because sometimes I think it can be a bit elusive. We think of our immune system, we think of our white cells in our blood, and that's absolutely accurate. But as you can see here in this graphic, our, our immune system includes many systems and organs. Uh, our immune cells are produced in the bone marrow, the spleen, and the thymus. And yes, they're circulated in our blood, but they're also circulated through uh, the lymphatic system that uh, runs through our entire body. And um, that involves the lymph nodes. Anyone who knows they've had a bit of an infection, you'll have a little, maybe get a little lump in the lymph node because that's part of uh, the process of managing uh, immune response, if you like. And then of course the mucous membranes and the skin are part of the frontline uh, defense for the body. So the immune system is involved in the production and the movement of or mobilization of cell defenses. And of course, it's responding to pathogens. So viruses, bacteria, fungus infections. It's responding to toxins. Toxins impact our immune system and it, um, it, it launches a response. Allergens, often allergens are quite unique to each individual. And then if we have some form of injury or inflammation, the immune system is activated to respond to help with recovery and repair. Now, there's one thing that our immune system is constantly asking, and that is the question, is this me? The cells of our body are rubbing up against each other and they're saying, is this myself or is this a foreign entity that I need to deal with? And so immune function is based in healthy cellular communication. It really is, the, this is the foundation for immune response. And uh, you may, may have heard of autoimmune diseases, and this is when the body is not recognizing itself and launching an immune response against itself. So this is when the communication mechanism breaks down. So we want a healthy immune system, healthy communication, so we can identify and deal with invaders and also protect and take care of ourselves. So if communication is vital, how do our cells communicate? Well, this is a graphic of a cell. This is the cell membrane. And on every single cell in our body are these little antenna-like structures. And uh, they are made up of a protein chain, with a sugar or a glycan attached, that's called a glycoprotein, or a fatty acid with a um, glycan attached, that's called a glycolipid. Now these are forming receptor sites or these antenna-like structures on the cell surface. The cells come up, rub up against each other and pass information like a coded language. I call it cellular braille. Of the 200 carbohydrates in nature, only eight of them have this glycan, glycan communication function and uh, they are known as nutritional glycans. Now, glycan or glycobiology is world science and it's been shown scientifically that glycans are directly involved in immune 
system communication. Uh, this is a, a study back down in 1991. So this science has been around for a few decades now. That cell surface glycans are essential in the correct functioning of the body's immune defences. In 1995, in Nature magazine, in the review of the science, uh, there was a statement, cell surface glycans are necessary for recognition and immune function. And then in 2012, uh, the National Academy of Sciences in the USA, which is the premier scientific body, they, they reviewed the science of glycobiology as it stood at that time. And this is a statement from uh, their paper that the human immune system has evolved the ability to recognize pathogen specific glycan sequences. So just what that means is these glycan structures on the cell surface are recognizing the glycan sequence on the bacteria, the virus, and identifying this is not myself and I need to trigger an immune response. Now, this is a graphic, it's called the lineage of the white cells. You can see the complexity of our white cells. So the main thing, or the only thing I'd like you to receive from this is the complexity and diversity of our white cells and the fact that they need to communicate. Um, they need to communicate production and mobilization in response to whatever they've identified as foreign in, the, in, our, in our body. Another thing that's really in, uh, foundational important to understand is that our health is determined by the signals to our cells. So again, this is another graphic of a cell. This is the cell membrane, and this is the glycan receptor, the little antenna on the cell surface. So a signal will come past, a toxin, an allergen, a pathogen, or a chemical signal, and the body will receive that on the glycan structure and have some form of cellular response, cellular action. Now, there was some groundbreaking work done by Dr. Bruce Lipton. You may have heard of him. He's often known as the father of epigenetics. And he's, he's a cell biologist. And his research uh, uncovered that our health is determined by the signals that the cells is, are receiving. It's not determined by our... DNA structure, it's determined by nutrition we're, we're putting into our body and receiving, the lifestyle choices uh, we're making, so they are signals to the cells, and also mindset belief system. He actually wrote a book called The Biology of Belief. It's all about the mindset effects on our biology, so I recommend uh, a read of that. Today, the focus is on the nutritional signals and the lifestyle signals to the cells of our body uh, that then reflect in uh, the response and the health of our immune system. So here is just one example of, of the glycan response to inflammation in the body. So this is a blood vessel. These are our white blood cells, our red blood cells. This is an area of infection or inflammation out in the tissue. So when this happens, chemical signals are sent, the glycans receive those on the, cell, on the cell surfaces and the white blood cells start to roll and they're grabbed by these structures called selectins and there's your glycan structure again communicating. They pull through the blood vessel and get to work in resolving this inflammation or infection in the tissue. So this is a, a, just one example of the communication the signals being received and the response of the immune system. So I hope you're receiving the signal of how important these glycans are to our immune function. But like most of our nutrition in our diet, it's deficient, it's depleted in our modern diet. The glycans have been identified to be deficient. In fact, six of the eight glycans are likely to be deficient or missing in our modern diet. And this can lead to a communication breakdown. The cells aren't receiving clear communication. And this can be likened to with our mobile phone. If we're out of range or the signal's not happening clearly, we get a garbled mes message, don't we? We don't get the communication clearly. And the same thing can happen at the cellular level. And yet we want that clear receiving of information and transmitting of information within the cells of our body for optimal function. 
And so uh, it's important that we can find a way to make sure we're getting adequate glycans in our diet. And at this point, I'd like to introduce to you uh, this product, Ambrotose, which is the only plant-based supplement of the eight known nutritional glycans worldwide. It has a 27-year proven track record, and it truly is a foundation for cellular communication. Now, Ambrotose is produced by a scientific research and development company called Manatech. I'm going to be speaking more about them in a moment. But they have done the science demonstrating that when, when you take Ambrotose, it increases immune support. Not only that, it supports cellular communication in the body in general. There's benefits to brain function, mood, and also to our digestive health. And again, I'm going to focus on the importance of digestive health in, for immune function. And in addition, the science has uh, continues and has shown that when people take Ambrotose, it enhances the ability to respond to bacterial vaccines. So who is Manatech? Well, as I said, they're a international research and development company. They were founded way back in 1994 and they're in 26 countries around our globe. They specialize in nutritional supplements that are derived from food sources and plant sources wherever possible. And they are the world leaders in this nutritional glycan technology. So the science is world science, but they are the only company worldwide that developed this supplement of Ambrotose of the eight nutritional glycans that we can add in into our diet and receive the benefit for our overall health. Now they've invested over $50 million in research over the last 10 to 15 years. Um, their products are proven effective. Uh, they have a highest commitment to quality and safety and efficacy so that when you put uh, their nutrients in your body, you know they're safe and that, that you know they get to work and do the job. Now, as a science company, uh, they supported uh, some independent research uh, recently into Ambrotose, as recently as June 2020. And that was to evaluate the impact of Ambrotose products on our immunity, gut health, and psychological well-being. And they concluded that regular supplementation with Ambrotose is not only safe, that it improves subclinical cellular adversity. Basically, that means it inclu includes, sorry, improves cellular health and without any unnecessary activation of immune response. So it's an immune balancer and modulator. You don't want your, your immune system overactive and you don't want it underactive. You want it in balance and responding appropriately. As a science company, Manatech developed an enhanced formula of Ambrotose uh, in the last several years. It's called Ambrotose Life. Uh, it has all the nutritional glycans of the Ambrotose complex and some enhancements of some of the glycans uh, known as Manipol, Arabinogalactin and Wakami. I'm going to feature Manipol in a moment. And the glucosamine within Ambrotose Life is vegan sourced. Now, in addition to that, uh, being a science company, they know that uh, our bodies are challenged by toxins in our environment now. And they've added several factors in to help bind with toxins and take the pressure off our body, take the pressure off our immune system. Aloe and modified citrus pectin is in there for detoxification of chemicals and an algae uh, product, sodium alginate, which helps to detoxify heavy metals. And in addition to that, they also put a base of standardized rice bran in there, and that has over 100 nutrients. So there's a nutritional base in this product. Now, I can't talk about nutritional glycans without mentioning our product called Manipol. I call it the crowning glory of glycans. Now, this is a supplement of mannose, but more than that, it's a supplement of acetylated mannan. Now, this is exclusive technology to Manatech. And ACE mannan, acetylated mannan, has been proven in scientific studies to be linked to improved immune response and cellular metabolism. Most aloe products on the market are actually um, a nutrient called D-mannose. 
So that's way below the standard of acetylated mannan that is backed by this scientific evidence. So if you know of anyone or someone in your family yourself who uh, needs significant immune support, then um, Manipol is the product to consider. And the person that invited you to this presentation, have a chat with them. They'll be able to best uh, understand your unique situation and rec rec recommend the best glycan products for you. And so with that, I'm gonna take a, a moment to invite two of our, our guest speakers today who are going to share what's happened for them, their health, their immune well-being when they've added these products into their daily regime. So I'm just gonna stop the share of the screen and I'm gonna invite forward Sue Price to just come off. Thank you, Sue, welcome. Can't hear you yet, Sue, we've got to unmute. Sorry, am I, am I right? Yes, that's good. Okay. Thank you for being here and sharing your story. You're, um, just before I do, Diana, every time I listen to you, I learn so much more. Oh, <laughs> thank you, I'm glad. Okay, my story. I, I can't tell the story without getting emotional, so please forgive me. Um, six years ago, in January six years ago, actually, I was diagnosed with um, something that no one wants to get. And um, I had been taking um, Ambrotose and other Manitech products since 2001, I think I started on Ambrotose. When I was travelling a lot and it really supported me and I'd sort of slackened off a bit with taking it, I was still taking it. But anyway, right, I got this diagnosis and so that whole year I had um, some treatment and I ended up having seven and a half, eight hour surgery in May of 2016. During that time, I increased um, my intake of Ambrotose significantly and after the surgery I did. So... I just really want to cover off on after my recovery, my recovery because to say I recovered very quickly was ridiculous. No one goes through that much surgery and bounces back. Um, but I bounced back quicker than a lot of people apparently. For the next two years, I had three monthly um, checkups with my surgeon. And I think it was at the end of the two years, I was in the waiting room. There was a woman in there who had had surgery just before me and a gentleman just after me. Anyway, the gentleman was sort of, I don't compare myself with other people a lot, but I do with my health like this. And the woman was saying to me, oh, I still can't do any housework. My husband has to do everything. He does all the cooking. I'm thinking, really? Because by that time, my life was back to normal. And um, the, the guy was still had a few problems. But anyway, when I get, got in to see the surgeon, um, I said to him, why is that woman at like this and I'm like that? So he didn't answer straight away. He just, it was looking at my blood results. And he said, your bloods are brilliant. He said, your nutritional indicators are outstanding. And, um, and he said, also, you've got a good attitude, <laughs> which does help. But, you know, I put that down to, to Ambrotose and Nutrivirus and other stuff that I was taking, but, you know, some of our products. And then um, I remember ringing Sharon, because Sharon's my upline, and saying, I was so excited, you know, like, hey, you know, I, I'm doing really well. So then I went on to six monthly checks. So at my next check, which was six months after that, so two and a half years in, he again looks at my indicators, examined me and everything and said, um, you don't need to come back. You're doing great. Sorry, that's what makes me emotional. <laughs> and um, both my husband and I started crying. It was just, yeah, amazing. So um, I know I can't say that, you know, give man at Ambertose glycans total responsibility, but hey, I, I give them a lot, a lot of gratitude. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. you, Sue. It's such a wonderful story of recovery. It's so heartwarming. I've heard it a few times, of course. <laughs> but I get goosebumps every time. So thank you. I know sharing your story will benefit the listeners and future watchers of the presentation. So thank you so much, Sue. Thank you. And now I'd like to welcome Kelly. Yay, there you no, are. No, thanks for that, Sue. Had me bawling there. <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone first. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Diana, for having me on. Um, 
Mine's a bit of a long story, so I'll try and be succinct with it. Um, so it's basically taking the core five um, and the glycans with a six month hiatus for the last 18 years. Um, but because of finances and being a single mum, I made a silly, silly mistake and stopped taking the glycans. Um, I was under the most stress of my life. life. I, um, I had the prospect of losing my job within six months. So I was basically trying to apply for jobs and I couldn't, I didn't get one. And basically two weeks before my contract finished at the government job, I, um, my daughter found me in the kitchen. Um, she was worried about me at three o'clock in the morning and I just, um, I couldn't talk. And then basically I was kind of like a bit of charades trying to say, you know, I can't talk. <laughs> And then I was basically unconscious and body was shaking and my daughter was freaked out. She called the ambulance, ended up being in hospital. They had to put me in an induced coma, unfortunately. I was unaware of all this, but um, uh, yeah. So in hospital for 10 days, they didn't know what was wrong with me, did millions of tests on my brain, et cetera. But as soon as I became conscious, Judy Abbott was in the hospital. <laughs> And I was after Ambrotose and after the glycans and I just shoveled them in because I knew I'd made the biggest mistake in my life. Um, and the, basically the, the specialist kind of said that all it could, kind of could be that my immune system was fighting my body and attacking my brain. Um, and, you know, these nutrients just supported my body in doing what it knows what to do. So it just kind of, and ever since I've been fine, I, I take drugs to stop, you know, that thing from happening. Um, but I've minimised them now and I went back to work um, a month after <laughs> this happened. Everyone was extremely surprised um, and, and I was just, I was, you know, I was under a lot of pressure and I decided to give up work. But, um, yeah, that, yeah, it was mind-blowing to me. So I would never, ever, ever stop. I went to the specialist six-month appointment and he basically said, I didn't expect you to be walking in like you are and as well as you are. So. Yeah, I just thank God for Ambrotose and Manipole. So, yeah, I'll never, ever, ever stop and never make that mistake again. Prioritise my health over everything. It's the most important thing you have. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Kelly. Again, that's a very potent story. And it really highlights the impact of stress on our health, doesn't it? Because you're under tremendous stress at that phase of your life. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then and the importance of self-care, particularly when you're under so much yeah. stress. Yeah, um, and then the gift oh, of what a gift. Know, improving those the the support to the body and what the body can do for recovery of itself. Um, yeah, and just not even, support. yeah, and not even realizing what it was doing underneath the surface, what it was doing for all of those years was yeah. obviously keeping my immune system in balance. Yeah. And then when it didn't have that support, it just kind of went out of control. And when I didn't have that nutrition, mm -hmm. it was just yeah. So thank you, thank you, Manatee. Yeah. <laughs> thank God. Well, thank you, Kelly, for, for being brave enough to share your story because I know right. again, that's going to benefit people watching and now and in the future. So thank you. Yeah, no worries. All right. So I'll go back to my screen. So I need to, you know, emphasize that Manatech does not endorse the, uh, the nutritional products for any cure of any disease or a placement for a doctor's care. Uh, but as you can hear, um, when you add good nutrition into your diet, um, the body, you know, the body's a miracle. We're just providing it or offering it uh, the tools that science knows it needs to do its job effectively. Now to a focus on the gut biome, and I'm calling this the powerhouse for our immunity. There is an intimate relationship between our gut and our immunity. You may have heard that 70% of our immune system lines our gut. There are immune cells within our gut that are interacting with over 500 species of bacteria within the small and large intestine. That's called the microbiome. And diversity is what we want in our microbiome. We want a diverse garden in our gut of healthy gut bacteria because it regulates immune balance and it supports 
healthy lining of the gut of the bowel. We don't want large cells getting across the bowel wall into the, into the bloodstream because that causes an adverse immune response. It's important to take care of our gut biome um, to support that diversity, but also because having a healthy, balanced, diverse gut biome also helps with our immunity, our gut health, there's also been uh, sound science showing the link between a healthy gut biome and healthy brain function, and also for our overall well-being. In fact, scientists are now linking changes in our gut biome with many diseases. They've even done scientific study that shows specific changes in the gut, gut biome linked to specific illnesses. So what are the causes of imbalance in our gut bacteria? Well, there's several lifestyle factors. Diet, if we're eating a, a too many bad fats, not enough fiber, too much overprocessed food, many additives, it can interfere with the balance. We use alcohol. If you have a wound, the old remedy is putting alcohol in that wound, and that's because it kills bacteria. So if you drink a lot of alcohol, it can create an imbalance in your gut biome. Some medications, antibiotics are well known to interfere with um, the, the balance of our uh, gut bacteria and so do cortisol and cortisone products. And then we have stress. We've seen um, the evidence of that in the story with Kelly today, causing chemical changes that affect our health and definitely affect our, the gut biome chlorine in the water. So we use chlorine in a pool to kill the bacteria. So chlorine in the drinking water also has the potential of killing off the gut bacteria in um, your small and large intestine. So drink purified water. Don't drink that chlorinated water. It's, it's, it can have a deleterious effect on your gut function. And of course, um, infections, opportunistic bugs can take over. Well-known, you know, E. coli infections, candida overgrowth, but there are many uh, uh, infections that can affect uh, the gut biome. And this leads to what's called dysbiosis, gut dysbiosis. That just means difficult digestion or a dysfunction in or disruption in the biome, the gut biome. So it's important to nourish and care for all these good guys in the gut and dietary wise, it means uh, eating a good balanced diet, making sure you've got adequate fiber in your diet and adding in some naturally fermented foods, kimchi, sauerkraut, kefir. These are all good foods to rotate into your diet for a diverse gut biome. And most people understand that these days the benefit of adding in a good quality probiotic into your daily regime. Manatech's uh, probiotic GI ProBalance is the state of the art probiotic formula. It has six probiotics. So probiotics for both the small and the large intestine because they're different microbiome in, in each of the, those areas of our gut. And in addition, it has two prebiotics. Now prebiotics feed the probiotics, keep them viable so that when they're delivered into the gut, they go into action and um, beneficial process within, within uh, the intestine. And so they, they work together in all areas of our digestive system. Now, interestingly, an added bonus is the glycans act as a prebiotic. So Ambrotose has been scientifically validated to help establish colonies of good bacteria in the gut. So these are a beautiful com combination. Ambrotose and GeroBalance are a beautiful combination for uh, establishment and balance and a healthy gut biome. And conversely, GeoPro assists in glycan metabolism and uptake. So they work, they also work synergistically together. And the bonus with our GeoPro balance, it's in these little slim sticks. They don't require refrigeration. You can pop some in your handbag or your pocket. So you can always have some handy if you feel you need added support um, to your digestion. So we talked about our body responding to the signals it's receiving. 
So your immune system is going to respond well to these kinds of lifestyle choices. They help fortify your immune system. Having adequate sleep. You know, contrary to some people's opinion, scientific, scientific evidence is showing that we need seven to nine hours of sleep every night uh, for our well-being. There's many reasons in our health we need that, but also our immune system is generating um, more cells, more immunity in our sleep. So we need that sleep to get that job done well. To de-stress. Now, when I looked at this list, I thought to myself, hmm, this is an area I could do uh, with a little bit more focus to make sure I'm getting adequate relaxation. I tend to be you know, quite active in my life. So as I'm going through this list, give some thought, where, where, which are the areas you're doing well in lifestyle choices and which are the areas that you could consider, you know, increasing as a, a lifestyle choice? Diet, eating natural uh, as possible, diverse and rich fibre, fibre rich diet. Avoiding toxic exposure. You know, we have toxins in our homes, in our workplaces, in our cars, what can you do to have a look and do a review of the toxic exposure in your life and, and attempting to minimise that and then minimise the pressure that that's putting on your immune health and your overall well-being? Having some form of reg regular activity. I mentioned earlier that part of our immune system is our lymphatic system. Now, our lymphatic system only moves through muscular um, contraction and relaxation moves the lymph and the lymph is part of not only mobilizing our immune system but detoxification in the body so having some form of regular activity i say that you enjoy um, helps with uh, bolstering and supporting immune function laughter now laughter has been scientifically shown to uh, boost your immune system i personally will choose to watch a funny video or a funny uh, movie and, you know, when, when you have a belly laugh, you just feel better, don't you? And you can feel the difference it makes. So including pursuing, if you need to, um, joy and laughter. Get the joy juices going, I say. And then, of course, having um, good amounts of sunshine and exposure to nature. This is the natural healer that's available to all of us. And, in fact, um, our body in nature's design, when we have adequate sunshine, produces vitamin D. Now, vitamin D is well known to be a, a really beneficial factor to uh, immune health. And uh, sunshine is the natural way to produce this vitamin D. Uh, so sunshine and nature. And then, of course, we can add nutrition into our diet as an additional signal of support for immune health. Now, I'd like to fe feature this product from Manatech called Immunostart. It really is the perfect place to start for a, supporting a healthy immune system. Now, this is a colostrum supplement. Colostrum is the first fluid that's produced in the mother's breast after the birth of the child. And it's rich in nutrition for the immune system and for the growth and nourishment of the child. It's nature's way. It's rich in a factor called lactoferrin, and lactoferrin is known scientifically to boost immune balancing T cells, to increase natural white blood cell production in the body. It also acts as a prebiotic to stimulate the good bacteria in the gut, and we've just uh, went through how important that is, and it assists in uh, gut health lining. So again, we've got this combination of immune support and gut health in uh, Immunostart with a colostrum. It also has shiitake mushroom, which the ancients have known to support the immune, immune system for hundreds of years. So it's a beautiful combination in this product. And in addition, we have modified citrus pectin. That's different to just regular pectin. It's modified citrus pectin, and as such, it becomes a binder to toxins. So again, we've spoken about the impact that toxins have to our immune health. There's some support in this product to, to reduce uh, the toxic load. So now I'm going to pause again to have one more story, and that's from Sharon. So I'll stop share, and I know Sharon will come on.
and share what happened for her when she added these nutrients into her diet. Uh, Dana, I'm just so amazed by you every time. It's, you're an awesome educator. Um, well, yes, thank you for having me. I um, was introduced to Mantech at a dinner party about 24 years ago or so. And I had a history of being uh, a clinical care nurse, critical care nurse. Um, I was a clinical nurse specialist in uh, ICU and emergency and open heart, et cetera. And so when I, these women at a dinner party were telling me about this technology, I thought, why am I hearing about, you know, why wouldn't I know about this if it was so amazing, number one? And why am I hearing about something for my health at a dinner party? You know, to backtrack a little bit, at that point, I'd been nursing for, you know, quite a few years. And there's a lot of toxins and lifestyle issues of night shifts and et cetera that impact health. And I actually had an immune compromised life from day dot. And I didn't, without this knowledge that I've learned through, you know, natural nutrition is Manatech. I didn't realize until looking back that that was always a burden for me and that I was always struggling to rise above that. So at that point, I was unable to work. I was on sickness benefits. I had a chronic fatiguing issue that caused issues with my thinking and my brain function. And um, I could, you know, I was desperate. Like I was, luckily we're in a country where we have access to sickness benefits, but that sure wasn't one of my life goals. And it's not a thriving situation, that's for sure. And so, you know, I would have outright rejected their education, except they said, listen, have a listen to this tape. If it makes sense to you, great. And if it doesn't, then there's no harm done. And I felt like I couldn't in integrity say no. So I reluctantly and really reluctantly took the tape and I sat in my car one day and I listened to it. And I can remember to this very day that it was like an aha moment for me. Like, I just thought, why was I skeptical about this? You know, why would I immediately rejecting this? I called myself on my behavior and I decided that, you know, this made sense to me that our food doesn't have everything we need to maintain health and well-being now made sense that we need to add more than the best we can do with food. And so I thought I had nothing to lose to try it. And within, uh, so you have to remember at this point, I was sleeping most of the day. I was only capable of being awake for two to four hours in a small period. And then I'd nap and then I'd have another two to four hours. I couldn't walk very far. I, I sometimes couldn't walk unaided. And so I thought I had nothing to lose. Within six weeks, uh, people around me could see an improvement. I couldn't feel it. I sometimes felt worse. Uh, but within three months, I could feel those periods of lightning and improved function and abilities. And within 18 months, I was fully recovered. And it was like a miracle. You know, I couldn't stop talking about it. I, you know, I wasn't very, very gracious in those days because I just had such a dramatic experience with nutrition and adding to my well-being. I went on to, you know, had a real tough fight with a tick bite. And that's impacted me again. But again, if I look across the community of people with severe tip bite reactions, I'm in the, the highest percentage of functionality through that community. So, you know, I always, my kids don't go a day without it. My family, people that I care about hear it from me relentlessly. And it just is, we can't have this message being the best kept secret. You know, nutritional glycans are the foundation for health and well-being. And there's no better time than now to look around our community and realize people need to know about this. So I'm eternally grateful to Magic and everything it's done in it. I'm I'm committed. I'm a committed addict to <laughs> nutritional glycan technology. So that's my story, Dana. Thank you, Sharon. Yeah, it's a it's a really uh, great story about decline well overall well being. Yeah. And um, how, yeah, just adding nutrition back in the body again, it's got the tools to get going and do its job. Um, so Absolutely. pleased to hear of your recovery. Thank you for what you do, Dana. My pleasure. All right, back to the slideshow. Oh, hang on. I don't think I've done that right. Let's see. Get the steps correct. Yeah. And there. All right. So there we have it. These are the nutritional foundations that you can add into your diet as signals to support optimal immune function and health. We have uh, Amber Toes that supports immune system communication combined with the GI Pro Balance that these two work together. Nourish the gut biome, 
and uh, also healthy gut lining and some foundational nutrition for immune function and gut support with the Immunostart. This really is intelligent supplementation for immune health. And the bonus is that it's all food and plant source. So it's the way your body's meant to receive and designed to receive nutrition. Oops. So I'm bringing this to a close now, but before I do that, I'd like for a moment to highlight uh, this program with Manatech. I call it Nourish Yourself, Nourish Your Child program. They call it the M5M Foundation. Now what this is, whenever a customer buys product to take care of their own health or their family's health, Manatech on your behalf provides nutritional supplement to a malnourished child somewhere in the world. And as I understand it, we currently provide about 20 million servings a year to children around the world. And this is done via either providing a phytoblend powder, which is packed with nutrition that's added into their food program, or in these little one meal packets, it's a meal with the phytoblend powder in there, depending on what's the best distribution within uh, the child's situation. And you can see the difference that it makes in these children's well-being. So we've got Aura here on the left. You can see she's very depleted, sad uh, little girl, showing signs of uh, malnutrition. And then 12 months later with this added nutrition, she's thriving, she's happy. You can see the improved well-being. Then we have uh, Ingrid over on the right, again, classic signs of malnutrition and transformed in six months from having this nutrition added into her, her diet. Uh, we've got many heartwarming stories about the recovery of the children, their ability to go back to school and learn and thrive. And, uh, and our customers feel good about, they're not only taking care of their health, but they're taking care of a child's health somewhere around the world. So there we have it, bringing this to a close. Uh, Manatech are bringing science and nature together to offer us options for adding nutrition into our diet, providing these, these signals uh, to, the, to the body to have optimal immune function. And so I hope you found some of these lifestyle clues and um, nutritional clues of value today. Uh, and with that, uh, I recommend you get back to the person who invited you to this presentation, have a chat with them and talk about what are the best choices for you and your family's wellbeing. With that, Sharon, I'm gonna hand back to you. I, is it, if anyone has a question, I could address it, um, but I'll close my... Oh, there we are. Dan, and God bless you. That was just awesome as always. And, you know, Sue and Kelly, awesome job of assisting us and sharing this message. So next week, we're going to phone on, uh, con concentrate on how you can share this message. Um, but I want to thank you, Diana, for being here today. And everybody's been blessed. And I know this uh, recording will get shared many times. Uh, thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend. And we'll look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Bye, Dana. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone.